see you trying to get into somebody's pants. here once again with wrestle crap radio and as always on the other end of the tin cannon string mr blade braxton i noticed that massive amounts of caffeine consumption leads to psychosis uh i was working a uh, wrestling show and a masked wrestler came out and he uh was billed as the oklahoma city bomber that is a hundred percent not appropriate Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Why, thank you, Lord Alfred. Promotional he, consideration. How about that? Is he still alive? He'll always be alive, as far as I'm concerned, on WrestleCrap Radio. He'll always, Lord Alfred will always live in WrestleCrap. He'll always live in our hearts. Yes, he will. And, as he said, promotional consideration this week paid for by our good friends at Global Internet. Kids, if you want to start something on this great big internet worldwide web of ours, don't be a schmuck. Don't be a schmo or a dorcas or a malorcas. Get your tail over to globalinternet.net. Talk to Greg and he'll get everything set up for you. Get a website. Do you have a website? What kind of loser are you? What kind of loser doesn't have a website? Don't be a loser. Guys. Go to globalinternet.net now. Now, guys that don't have websites don't get kissed by girls. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is your Action News reporter with all the news that is news across the nation on the scene at the supermarket. There seems to have been some disturbance here. Pardon me, sir. Did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. I was standing over there by the tomatoes, and here he comes. Bobby, let's uh, hop in the grocery cart, kids, and let's head down the. Isles of America for our yeah. weekly trip to the grocery. Have you ever thought, you know, I would get a hot dog, but then I gotta go get a bun? You have a short lifespan. That's 15 seconds it takes for you to walk from the meat aisle to the bread aisle. Exactly. And thank you. I believe it's the cons folks have decided to take care of lazy sloths such as ourselves, they actually now have hot dogs pre-packaged with the bun. Oh, yeah! I think it's like $3, and you get, get this, three hot dogs, and they're already in the bun. Oh, sweet. That's a lot of bang for a buck each, man. Mm Mm-hmm. You always do your trips to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't go to the grocery store that often. I go to the convenience store. Uh-huh. And when I'm there, you know what my favorite thing is? What might that be? The monster chili dog. The monster chili dog. Like a tortilla kind of thing with the chili mixed in, man. Let's say you want a burrito. But you're yeah. thinking I'd like to have a chili dog, too. What these <laughs> folks do is they mix it all together. But anyway... I've been lied, I've lied to you. I've lied to everybody because since 1993, I've secretly hated and despised Booberry. What? Yes. That is a I, that's a major res- revelation here today. I the sight of him has made me cringe, but yet I still enjoyed eating it. I still enjoyed eating the cereal. Back in 1993, they changed the rather like alcoholic looking blueberry the fine folks at general mills decided to give a makeover it's not only blueberry but count chocolate and frankenberry as well but blueberries was the worst they turned him in like this casper kind of ghost oh, that's with awful. cheekbone with cheekbones and a smile and he was like you know we don't want any of that we, we want, want on our cereal we want a drunk cracked up pedophile Ghost. But can, but what you're telling me, it. that's what you would want. He can't even, the old blueberry couldn't even keep his eyes open all the way. He was so stoned. Well, you know what? When I was walking down the grocery aisle, aisle this week, guess what I saw? 
I, I would I would get, suspect that Booberry got a, a makeover. They hired the old Booberry back. Oh, about damn time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have access Look. to your computer right now? Uh, access I do have, sir. Okay. I need you to type something in, okay? Can I tell you something? Mm. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm about seven and you're Bill Cosby and we're all doing like picture pages together. This will be fun. We'll all enjoy it together. You got any jello? We're all in this together. I'm talking a little bit about Disney World. Uh my my uh Artie Junior, he like understood the characters. I think I mentioned that last week. Yes. And it was it was amazing to me that he would like he would like get the characters. And I was like, wow. But I didn't tell you the most important thing about all this. What he did is, like, they have these people out there, right? And they're dressed up as these characters. And the characters are out there in the in the sun, you know, just baking. And it, just imagine, 95 degrees, they have to stand out there in, in a hot suit. You're out there in that duck suit, and you're just cooking your ass off. And you gotta be out there, and you gotta wave and be friendly and cute. After a while, you know those people don't want to be friendly and cute. No, they they're smart enough not to just leave them out there like all day. They'll cycle the characters in and out. So Chip and Dale are out there. They'll let those guys go back inside, and then they may bring out uh, they may bring out uh, uh, Donald and Daisy. Okay, so you see what's going on there. Well, if the People are, if there are people standing there, and children, you know what I mean? They can't just say, Donald, you know, Chip and Dale are hot as hell. Why don't you give them a break? Let them go in and, and, you know, get a drink, have a smoke. They can't do that, of course. It's Disney World. Of course not. they got to stay in character. And as I said last week, they don't break kayfabe. So what they do is they make up excuses as to why the characters have to leave. Okay, so like Chip and Dale, they had to go in, and they tell us they have to go in, and they're going to have some sugar-coated almonds. They're going to go enjoy some sugar-coated almonds. They're going to go get a nut. They're going to go get some sugar-coated almonds. Okay? That's that's, that's a cute little thing. Okay? That's cute. So, me, Mrs. Deal, Artie Jr., who, keep in mind, he, he, he wasn't even a year old yet. We're there, and there's some kid that's like 14, and we're waiting to get a picture taken with Rafiki. Now, do you do you remember Rafiki? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Rafiki was the uh, was the uh, the baboon in uh, the Lion King. Okay. Mm, okay. Rafiki's getting ready to go back in. So okay. the woman, the handler or whatever, that's there with Rafiki, because Rafiki can't talk. Okay. Oh, yeah. She turns okay. to us and says, and I quote, and keep in mind, keep in mind, she has a child under the age of one. She has a late 30s male. She has an early 30s female and a seven, like a 13 year old kid. Okay. Right. So she doesn't really need to lie to any of us. There's really no point. Yeah. You know, it yeah. wasn't like there's a five year old there and she had to she she could have she could have broke K Fig. Anyway, she says she, to me she didn't let me finish. She says to me Rafiki needs to go eat some bananas. And she says it just <laughs> like that, okay? Rafiki needs to go eat some bananas. Now, this is where I want you to type something in on your web browser. Okay? <laughs> Because you, okay. you have to see what she was doing when she said, Rafiki oh, yeah. wants you to eat some bananas. Rafiki has to go in and eat some bananas. Okay? I got a bad feeling. Go to, go to WrestleCrap.com. Type in <laughs> WrestleCrap.com. Okay? You got that? You spell it with a K or a C? With a C. Okay. Slash banana yeah. dot G-I-F. <laughs> that is... That is what she was doing. Okay? That's Disney World. Happiest place on earth. Feel good. Da, 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 da. All right. Da, 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 da. Feel good. He's 
gonna be your Frankenstein, Ivan. <laughs> I, I guess this is the song we need. Yeah. After that, after that horrible rendition of Doctor Feelgood or whatever that was. Yeah. We need to calm things like down. That? Feel good. All right. Feel good. He's going to be your Frankenstein. You know, if some anonymous thug would point a gun to both of the skulls of this, our two WrestleCraft radio listeners we still have and ask them, which one is going to a caffeine a psychotic fit? <coughs> both of them would say you at this point. Probably. Now, I'm here... I'm here to calm you down. Let's calm down, mail out the high two. Okay. Right here we are. The, the, the music means, kids, you know, this is Blade Braxton's weekly wrestling haiku. Let me, let me explain this to you. It's a big world out there. It's a great big world. There's lots of wrestling news available. You can get it from all kinds of sources. You can go to websites. You can get newsletters. You can call hotlines. You can read magazines. There's all kinds of things you can do, but basically, what it all comes down to is, there's not a lot of wrestling news you really need to know. There's just a lot of extraneous news out there. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, you ever drink Dr. Pepper? I love Dr. Pepper. Okay. Great. You, you ever notice that uh, there are lots of clones out there? More of a Mr. Pitt fan, but go ahead. Okay. A lot of Dr. Pepper clones. A lot of Dr. Pepper clones. Lots of them. That's what There's wrestling one of my... news is, is to me. It's like you have Dr. Pepper and you have all these clones out there. So let's say you could like go drink all that do all those Dr. Pepper clones. You could. You want to go drink Dr. Terrific? You can do that. Dr. K, Dr. Smooth, Dr. Wells, Dr. Becker, Dr. Perfect, Dr. Thirst, Dr. Check, Dr. A+. Dr. Slice, Dr. Perky, Dr. Star, Dr. Rocket, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Joes, Dr. B, Dr. Topper, Dr. Pop, Dr. Radical, Dr. Shaw, Dr. Up, Dr. Skipper, Dr. Cheer, Dr. Lynn, Dr. Publix, Dr. Whatever, Dr. Zeppa, Dr. Polar, Dr. Rush, Dr. S, Dr. Sparkle, Dr. Wow, Dr. W, Dr. Top, Dr. Wright, Dr. IGA, Country Doctor, Dr. Doctor, Dr. Choice, Dr. Urge, Dr. M, Dr. Wild, Dr. Best, Dr. Extreme, Dr. Parker, Dr. Shasta, Dr. Fizz, Dr. Weiss, Dr. Path, Dr. Bowl, Dr. High Top, or Dr. Celeste. You can go drink all those kids. But you don't need I, to. How much different I, is Dr. Sparkle from Dr. <laughs> Pepper? It's not that different. No need. No need, kids. No need. You don't need to do that. Just drink Dr. Pepper. That's Wade Braxton's like Dr. Pepper. He takes all those other drinks and compresses it into one can. One 12 ounce can of Dr. Pepper. It's everything you need to know. Right here, Blade Braxton, Weekly Wrestling Haiku. Why do chicks dig test? Kelly's got the right answer. He's got foot-long dong. <laughs> You know, I, I had like a little Godzuki stuffed animal, man. Mm -hmm. I slept with that thing. I slept with that thing every time. They say I just, we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. <laughs> uh, I think I think this might be the thing that finally seals the deal where we can get some kind of uh, serious or XM radio deal. I think yeah. this is. 